Unity or Unreal? You vote Unity? You would be correct, based off of the, the uh, configuration menu that popped up when I launched this game. It is uh, an Unreal game. <laughs> Not Unreal. Why did I say? I said Unity and then said Unreal twice. It is a Unity game based off of the configuration that popped up. The standard thing that's like, hey, uh, <laughs> pick your resolution. You want windowed? You can't do 1080p windowed. Okay. <laughs> sure thing, Unity. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, I should go to the bottom. There we go. I should have changed shirts. Boat Vin. At Mara2213, hey, what you up to? Do I need to press a button? I do. Written by Imogen West Knight, August Hent. How's it going? How's Stockholm? Arden Hammond, an animation by Leo Cole. Hey, it's been a while. Give me news. Original soundtrack by Ivan uh, Starinius. I don't know why I decided to start pronouncing these Swedish names. What's new with you? Lots of love. XXX. August Hackerson. It's Sarah Baby. Sorry, just totally swamped at the office these days. Let's speak soon, X. I ran into Peter the other day. Do you remember him? Would you believe he's a mechanic now? So much for his punk band, lol. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, uh, Mike TV plays so... <laughs> gets to go maybe considered a punk band. Anyway, life's... Okay. Life's okay. My end. Not much to report. Would be so nice to catch up properly soon. Is the whole game gonna be us on the bus? No. Hey, let me know what. Uh, what? Let me know when might be a good time for a catch up. There, there's something I want to talk to you about. Can you call me as soon as you can. ASAP is when you get this, if that's okay. It's really important, X. So sorry I missed this. I'm stuck at the office. And probably will be all weekend. Next week will be better, I hope. Be really offensive and use the Swedish chef voice. But it's, it's, the, the Swedish chef speaks mock Swedish. I don't know if I can turn borks into words. Hello, Harung. It's... Not great to see, to be honest. Guess I'll check if the flower shop is still open. Use Wazdi to get back on the bus and get the hell out of here. Nope. As much as I'd like to leave, I have to get into town. Did it say arrow keys? I've been I'm using WASD. Is it or arrow keys? I mean Yo, classic, classic. You use that those arrow keys. Oh, maybe I will. My arrow keys are way more clicky. They've they've got way less ease than WASD has. Stat oil. Mmm, stats. <laughs> Click on the object to inspect them. Long live the petrol station. The only place in town we could trick someone into selling us a beer when we were under 18. This week, 3.5% beer. But beer all the same. If 
only Atanj knew what we Swedes do to their beloved pizza. What was Mara's order? Maria's order? Something like pineapple and barbecue sauce? I would never admit it, but actually kind of delicious. That's a lot of sugar out of pizza. Ah, pizza... Pizzeria Veron. Don't miss exams, but I do miss our post-exam pizza ritual. Okay. Blue house. Not the red house, though. What was the name of the guy who used to live here? Se Seven? Or Sven something? Weird dude. Variant to drones? Oh, my first boyfriend had a car just like this. In fact, this might even be his car. You better keep moving. The greenhouse! The only house I ever persuaded Mara to throw an egg at on Halloween. She put it, a written apology through the door the next day. Bless her. Maria. Maria's parents' house. Doesn't look like anybody's in. Same old curtains, though. System of The all important alcohol wall. System bull bullager? <laughs> that, okay. Is that an I? I guess it's an I. System bull Iger? I guess. It's a T. Hmm. Closed on Sunday, of course. I remember Maria's sister agreeing just once to buy us a bottle of wine. The cheapest rosé they had. It was disgusting, and we drank it all. Side of pilgrimage for the true main religion of sweet recycling. Big, big on recycling, are they? Notice board. The all, it's always the same things. Lost cats, church meetings, and some for sale notices. Call Thomas. Great livestock for even better prices. I think I'll pass. Bench where Maria knocked her front knocked her front tooth tooth chipped. If he didn't open her mouth at school for a whole on monument. This monument commemorates the great Huron flood of nineteen ninety seven. I'm butchering the name of this town almost certainly. Great livestock for even a better price. Five inches of water counts as a great flood, apparently. Elsa! Hi, Elsa. Good evening. Hold on. That's not Sarah, is it? Hello, Elsa. My goodness, it is you. I hardly recognized you. It must have been years since. Ten years, yes. Ten years. It goes fast at my age, I tell you. It doesn't feel like long enough to me. I imagine it does. You'll feel it soon enough. Oh, but it is the 12th today. Gosh, it's been a year already. I just need to buy some flowers, really. You can't go without flowers. No, certainly not. This bunch here is fine. Are you sure? I've got some lovely carnations in the back. I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry, Elsa say so. Who's dead? And you're alright, are you? I'm fine. Thanks. I can hear the jingle just looking at it. ICA, the beating heart of all dead end towns. As good a place to go and hang out as anywhere around here. Almost feels good to see it again, actually. Jo Joseph's, jo Joseph's fruit <laughs> consistently took the top spot in our ranking of the creepiest people in her out. Must be ancient now. Papa Dyson's. Dyson's. Apparently, after the sign broke, they thought it would be cheaper to rename it instead of repairing it. 
hilarious. To this day, I can't can't here take a walk on the wild side without thinking of Saturday Night Karaoke here. Station, the police station. I still have a bad dreams about this place sometimes. Oh, really? So you spend a lot of time in the police station. <laughs> Get fruit. <laughs> Thank you for the submissions, Codswell. Oh, of course, where else would everyone be on a Sunday? Are we gonna bus right into the church? I have a vivid memory of sitting in the pews for graduation, promising myself it would be the last of hundreds of hours I spent in here. I'd really been looking forward to it. Mm. So this is a very religious town still, and uh, you are not, Sarah. Which, fair enough. Fancy too. Pretty damn fancy. I guess there has to be a reward for running this shithole for half your life. I always found it strange that the only beautiful place in town was the one full of dead people. Dude, pretty damn fancy. What about a non-fancy? Grandparents' grave. Grandma and Grandpa's grave. Maybe I should have got flowers for them too. Oh. Oh, so Maria was texting Sarah had something to say, something very important. Maria, Sarah didn't get back in time. Oh, it's a game about suicide, isn't it? Okay. 1992 to 19, or 2019. There are still so many paths I haven't trodden. Where is that from? I don't know what people do at gravestones. Is it weird if I speak to you? I want to speak to you. But I also don't know what to say. Hi, Maria. Miss you, I guess, is the first thing. And I'm sorry I wasn't here for you for the funeral. It wasn't my fault I couldn't get back in time. Okay, so... Alright. I just couldn't face it. I was too wrapped up in my own feelings. Hmm. Just couldn't face it. So here you are. You're really never... You ne really never did leave, after all. Just... Why? Sorry. But you should have come with me. You wouldn't be here if you just... Had it all planned out. I just can't help- oh, I guess it doesn't matter now. I just can't help feeling angry with you. How could you let this place keep you? Hmm. So, defeat anger or... But whatever this is. Maybe more anger? Guess it doesn't matter. Guess it doesn't matter now. This dress? I quite like this dress? You do? Ah, no, it's crap, isn't it? What are you wearing? Hmm? Don't make me stand here looking terribly terrible all on my own. Where's your outfit? Oh, I'll decide on something later. Nothing fits properly. No, you're right. We should be focused on what actually matters. Booking the tickets. Yeah. I was thinking we should get the bus to Stockholm on Friday and... Sarah. What? Sarah, I'm pregnant. You're pregnant. Pregnant? Yes, pregnant. Jesus. Okay, okay, yes. And it's that guy's? Jacob? Okay, that's fine. Don't panic. We can sort this out. We can make an appointment. I don't need an appointment, Sarah. I want to have a baby. You thought about it a lot, and it's what we want to do. I'm actually really excited. Wait. What do you mean we? Me and Jacob. You mean your parents. 
Those Jesus freaks can't make you do this, Maria. No one's making me do anything. But how is it going to work with us going to Stockholm? Dot, dot, dot. We aren't going to Stockholm. No, we're not. I don't think I can now. Maria, I'm, I'm so sorry, Sarah. I wasn't sure how to tell you or when. I know how much this... Look, you can't have a baby. You can't have one just because this backwatered, Bible-bashing town expects you to keep it. You aren't listening to what I'm saying, Sarah. Well, I should at least thank you for giving me the heads up. Sarah, I have to go. I have tickets to book. So that, that's how they left? That's how their rela relationship uh, ends? Or not ends, but... Reached this, this point of them not being super close friends and this point. That text the night you died. What did you want to tell me? I just can't let it go. This all seems... Why would you be out driving on that road? Oh, not suicide, or... Hmm. Hmm, something happens. Mystery? The music has changed, by the way. Something sinister. I've been thinking about it and thinking about it for the last year, and it just, it just doesn't seem like an accident to me. Goodness, it really is you. Lena? Or Lena? Wow. Sorry, I didn't expect to see... You didn't expect to see me at my little sister's grave on the anniversary of your death. You know that's not what I meant. You know that's not what I meant. Oh, I'm sure. I must say, I'm surprised to see you too, given that we didn't see you at the funeral. I'm sorry, I wish I could have been there. We missed you a lot, you know. I missed her too. Life just gets so buzz busy, doesn't it? So little time to check in on dear old friends, right? We had fallen a, a little out of touch, yeah. That's one way of putting it. Do you, you see much of her family? Her son Jonas and uh, Jacob. I've been helping him out with Jonas from time to time. Terrible age to lose a parent. Can't imagine. What keeps you so busy in the city? Copywriter at advertising firm. I'm in charge of the copy for some big accounts at my firm. Alright. Good for you. The town is just like, yo, fuck you, you left. <laughs> that line there. And there are still so many paths I could have trodden. Where's it from? Oh, it's from a poem she wrote. One of the cheerier ones. Beautiful. Yeah, she never gave up on the writing. She turned her old bedroom into a sort of study. It's full of all the stuff. I don't think poor Jacob had the heart to move any of it yet. And of course, there was the writing group that Gunnel started. I'm sure you remember her. Unfortunately, yes. What else has she been up to before she... Well, you know, same old Maria. Mothering church. Church? Yes, Sarah, church. Didn't know she was religious. I'm a little surprised by that, to be honest. Oh, when did God Brothers get her? I'm a little surprised by that, to be honest. I dare say there are a lot of things you don't know about what Maria's life was here after you left. Look, I kind of want to spend some time with my sister now. It was nice seeing you. Mm. Wish it had been on, under different circumstances is usually what you say uh, in, in that situation there, Sarah. God, what a bit. Mm. Guess not so long ago her mom died as well. Not like she ever particularly liked me. She was always blaming me when Maria got in trouble. Christ. I just need to know. What happened to you, Maria? What did this town do to you? It's time to find out. And disturb her. I'd rather not give her one more reason to hate my guts. I mean, if she already does. That's it. Is there... 
Maybe I should talk to Gunnel about the riding club she, club she and Maria were in. Although I can think of a few worse, few things worse than talking to Gunnel. Surely she can't still work at the supermarket in town. Frankly, I'm surprised that old bat's still alive. What? Is it? Oh, thank you, Raj J. How... We know we're alive. I thought I updated this. It, yeah, it, oh, okay, it, so the title didn't take, or the uh, game didn't take before. Whoops. Going well. I played a little bit of Tunic. I, uh, I, I cleared the forest temple. Well, cleared as well as I understand cleared in this game. I got, I got one of the keys. Now we're playing a double feature of narrative games that are about an hour long before Mike TV uh, stream. Because Mike TV has got a paying, a paid did gig basically that is a uh, streaming on YourSaliva.com as Cox has <laughs> noticed, or uh, Ursa Live, I think is what uh, Mike TV called it. Oh hi! Now there's a strange sight. Teach. Sorry, that sounds weird now. You always watch too many American movies. It's just Philp now. Philp spelled with an F, huh? I guess what? I, I can guess why you're back. I think you can, yes. Awful tragedy. Such a waste of potential. I always liked you, you know. Oh, I do know. Murray and I became rather good friends of the little kind. I teach her son Jonas now, as a matter of fact. Oh, right. He's very bright too. Knocked sideways, or knocked sideways by recent events, of course. I think I switched their voices at some point. But what, what have you been up to in Stockholm all these years? Writing? I do hope it wasn't only Maria who kept the dream alive. Not really. I'm an account executive at an ad agency. And it's all going well down there. A little lonely, but it's alright. Ups and downs, but mostly it's good. City life, just like that, I guess. Yeah, it's great. It's great, yeah. Ups and downs, but mostly it's good. City life is like that, I guess. Well, it's always nice to see an old student. I imagine you have lots of people to catch up with, so I won't keep you. I'm gonna stay and watch the game here if you're at a, a, a loose end later on. Thanks, yeah. Although you will find it hard not to run into your old sparring partner, Officer uh, Nissen. Nielsen? That, that's an L. Nielsen around here. Oh god. Then Nielsen is still. I'm surprised, to be honest. You and me both. Redful, really, that he was the one to break the news to us all about Maria. God, I'm so sorry. He was the first policeman at the scene of the crash. Only made sense, I suppose. Teach. Sorry, Phil. Yes? Does Gunnel still work at the ICA? Oh yeah, sounds like perhaps you'll have several places to avoid today. Well, see you later, maybe. Take care, sir. Thanks, you too. He's not under a canopy. He's just... <laughs> he's just standing in the raid smoking. The canopy was just, just not important to him. <laughs> Keeping the dream alive. Could Teach see it? That there was another life you wanted to lead? Now which torture would I like to check myself to first? Have my ear chewed off by Gunnel at the supermarket, or endure Officer Nielsen attempts at humor at the police station? Guess the ICA has candy in it at least. Yeah, but the police station's right here. Oh, no, we don't get to choose. We, we have to go to the ICA. Oh, we're just behind it, okay. Hello, Gunnel. <clears throat> Who's that? It's Sarah. Sarah who? I know you remember me, Gunnel. I see a lot of people in my line of work. Don't remember all of them. Just whatever. I need to ask you something. 
Oh, hold on, are you the girl who left town? Yes. The one who ran off with another woman? The lesbian? No, Gunnel. Listen. Oh, it was awful. Her parents broke their hearts. You should have seen them. See, you're just as hateful as you ever were. This is a good way to extract information, yes. She is very hateful, but we need information from her. <laughs> it's very personal, though. That That is something that you would say if you were dealing with someone you hate and you know hates you. Can I please just ask you something? I suppose so. Depends on what it is. Look, you're in a writing group. I'm a founding member of the Harang, which whose name I'm almost certainly butchering, writing group, yes. If you wanted to join, I'd have to ask the rest of the group. We don't take just anybody. I don't want to join. I want to ask you about Maria. Ah, yes. Such a shame. Yes, but she was in the group too. Oh, yes, yes. She was a good enough writer. Only she hadn't written about such dreary, awful things. Like what? Oh, it was always death this, death that. Depressing. Okay, death, death, uh, suicide by car? Is, is it what we're getting? And before she died, she was writing about that kind of thing? Well, to be perfectly honest, I can't say. She didn't have the decency to turn up to the session that week didn't show up. The week before she died, we were very clear that non-attendance should be announced before. Why didn't she come? He didn't say. But Cal, you know Cal. Callie, odd family. He has that wife who was from some oriental place. Weird woman. Please stop. What about Callie? <laughs> he said he'd seen her around that week all out of sorts. What do you mean? Head in the clouds, distraught by something. Distracted by something, that's what I heard. Not herself. Why are you asking? Weren't you two as thick as thieves? Though you do remember me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> surprise. He's trying to quit smoking by creating very unpleasant memories while doing it in the rain. Fair enough, watching Oprah or listening to Rebecca Black. A little, I suppose. It was rude of her not to tell us she wasn't going to. Okay, I'm not done. You. Bye, Gunnel. Well, you're welcome. God, I'd like to give her peace of my mind one day. Another time. If I ever come back here, that is, and she's still alive. Not herself. I wonder why she didn't go to her writing group. Okay, time to talk to Chief Inspector Dickhead. All right. Let's just let's just go straight there. There's no reason in pushing this about uh, or delaying going to the police uh, chief. All right. Here we go. You are a look incredibly large compared to everyone else we've spoken to sitting in this chair. Sten, Nielsen at your service. Hello, Sten. Hello, Sten. Well, well, well. If it isn't the little Miss City Slicker. Sarah will do. Bet they don't know about your delin delinquent past down in Stockholm, do they? Still shoplifting? I was 14, Sten. Once a thief, always a thief. Come to turn yourself in, is it? Night in the cells for old time's sake. I wanted to ask you about Maria. Oh. Oh, yes. Anniversary. Well, I suppose she's not getting up to her old tricks anymore, at least. Oh, you fucking asshole. <laughs> You're a real piece of shit. You're a real piece of shit. Now, now, that's not very ladylike, is it? There are laws about speaking to a policeman like that. Go on then, fire away. You're the one who was called to the scene, right? Of the crash? I was, yes. Where was it? Don't you know? You really did cast us all off, didn't you?
Gosh, I wonder why I wanted to do that. Here it beats me. It was out on the main road south about an hour down. Nearer to Stockholm than here almost. Why on earth would Maria be out on that road? Am I a mind reader, Sarah? But what happened? Oh, you know how fast it gets dark this time of year. And that old road branched in the way or something. She skidded off the side and into the rocks below. Good thing it was me who got the call, really. Telling the family should always be left to someone senior. I'm head of the precinct these days, you know. All right, right, right. Can I get back to my work now? You can get back to scratching your RCS. If you continue to disrespect this office, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. See, it's me just fine. <laughs> when does ABBA start and other Swedish stereotypes? Uh... I mean... Chief of the precinct, my god. What was she doing out on that road? Hmm. Lena said Jacob hasn't cleared the things from her old room. Why they decide to live in her parents' creepy old house, I can't imagine. Maybe I should talk to Jacob. I wonder what he's like now. I mean, he's not going to be thrilled to see you after all these years of having dipped on your friend, I imagine. Yeah, that dude is a dick. Wait, what, the, what just happened? Did we just force teleport and, and save time? <laughs> because we're supposed to go in this direction? Did you forget something there? No, I'd better be off. All right. Wait, why are you outside watering the plants in the rain? Have you considered moving them briefly onto the street and then back? Well, whatever, old lady. I guess this is easier on your back to fill a jug of water? <laughs> Dementia. Oh, well... I mean... That is a potential answer to that, yes. <laughs> ah, good old Biber Basher HQ. Trying to quit watering the plants by creating very unpleasant <laughs> waking in the rain, watching Oprah, or letting her Rebecca back. Uh Hello? Door seems to be open. You just gonna barge in? Uh hello. Oh, Sarah. What are you doing here? I didn't mean to barge in. Door was open? Yeah, they, they are, they, they usually are around here. Sorry, maybe this is a bad time. I can, no, it's fine. It's so blonde. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting you. I'm back for the day, really, okay? May I come in? Sure, of course, come into the dining room. Pretty strange to be back in this house. I can imagine. Thought, thought, thought. Would you like a coffee? I like that they have nothing to talk about. No, there's no hatred. There's no like. Only if you're making something. Making some. That'd be nice. Sure. This is too awkward. Yeah. Oh, the boy. <laughs> Hello. You must be Jonas. Yes. Nice to meet you, Jonas. I mean, we've met before, but only once, and you were very small. Well, anyways, where's my dad? He's in the kitchen. Do you want me to get him for you? No, it's okay. All right, child. Peace out. You didn't even give a name. Seems like we're out of coffee. I haven't really had time. Oh, don't worry. Jonas is so big now. Yeah, and shy. And today's not a good day. Of course. How are you? Oh, you know. Today is. I understand. But I'm alright. That's good. Ugh. It is a super deep voice. Oh, he's, he's got that Halo, uh... <laughs> or Xbox Live vocoder. Or, uh... 
voice masking voice. <laughs> talking this week. I, I can feel it in my throat. Feels like another lifetime when I was last year. Hmm. What year is Jonas in now? Fourth grade. And he's getting stuck into his hockey. We both have really good distractions. Right. Yeah. Why are you here, Sarah? You're wrong. <laughs> Couldn't make it last year. Hmm. Right. Jacob, do you think it'd be co okay if I had a look at Maria's old room? I'm afraid it's not very tidy. I haven't really got around to. No, that's okay. Sure, if you want to. Thanks. It's up the stairs, and you remember where it is, of course. Well, I won't be long. Wander your house here. Picture of Maria, the little, little thing. That top she's wearing. I can't remember if it was mine and she stole it, or if I just borrowed it so often that it felt like mine. changed at all. That's weird. <laughs> like some sort of weird shrine to her youth in here. Even the sheets are the same. Oh, that is fucking weird. <laughs> the CRT screen, old sheets. Probably a... That looks very much like an Xbox down below, but it could be anything. Oh, no, those are probably two slide-out things. Your room hasn't changed in 20 years and you're alive? Please tell me you have different, like, sheets, because they should be worn out by being washed in 20 years. <laughs> Bookshelf, A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursa K. Lee Gunn. He was always trying to get me to read her stuff. I'm not sure why I never did. Photograph. We are, there we are. Oh, flashback. See, th there you go. Different sheets are, are, are like a minimum. <laughs> where, where do they find a beat up old car outside of town? always look so small from up here. It is small. It's tiny. I'm gonna miss these forests, though. Got plenty of forests in Stockholm, Maria. Anyways, we won't have time. Between the literacy festivals and, those par and the parties, we're not gonna be very successful writers if all we do is go to parties. I'll write the greatest American novel in the mornings. American? It's a figure of speech, Maria. <laughs> Nobody's actually sleeping in the bed. You gotta gather dust regardless. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Speaking of love, such a dick. How's your new moped guy? What's his name? You know his name. Hmm, Jay something. Jacob. Right. It's good. I like him. Huh. I think he's stupid. I didn't say anything. No, but I know what you think. Look, I didn't say. It's okay. You just happened to be wrong about him, that's all. Okay, okay, if you say so. How long is it now? Eleven months, Sarah. Eleven months. Leaving this shithole can't come soon enough.
dot dot dot. Neighbors. You she really was still writing. Poetry mostly looks like. How long a road must lie ahead between the light and me. Oh. It's what you really wrote about, Maria? Paper on the floor. A system bola gat or seat for two bottles of vodka. Wait, this is from his. It's from the day she died. He used to hate vodka. Why would she? I should go. I don't imagine Jacob wants me hanging around too long. Two bottles of vodka. Do you, do you have your, your posters from 20 years ago still up, Cogswell? <laughs> Is this a real place? <laughs> Must be quite nostalgic for you, the room I mean. It was. Jacob, I hope you don't mind me asking. Where were you and Jonas on the day that? This day last year? We're at a hockey game, actually. Seems impossible to think about us enjoying ourselves that afternoon now. Maria got us tickets to a hockey game. She usually comes too, but she said it was a special father-son treat. I'm so sorry, Jacob. Thank you. It's... Good luck back in the city. Thank you for having me. Man is wearing an Argyle sweater. <laughs> in his house. I mean, I guess it's not, like... I guess that's more efficient than heating. You do. I have a poster for the movie Goldeneye just hanging up, not framed. I mean, fair enough. I don't remember when I stopped keeping unframed posters up. I guess that's when I switched to mostly art based posters. Even if they're like, there's a Bioshock. Um, uh, movie style poster made by I'm blanking on his name it's not on the poster <laughs> the actual people uh, who make the games on the poster oh. when I was in university I definitely had a like Six foot poster of uh, a couple of different things. They used to come every year, and I would just buy one. And it became wallpaper at some point, and I'm just like, this looks terrible. It needs to go. <laughs> Refka, but I want to believe poster from the X Files in your living room. Not it properly. Does that count? Yes, it does. And that's the water lilies. The water lilies. All right. So on the afternoon that she died, Maria sent them off to a hockey game because she wanted them out of the way? This is insane. The police would have investigated the possibility that but the police means Officer Nielsen easily could have just assumed it was a road accident without really thinking about the alternatives. No, it's a small religious town. They considered the alternatives for a moment and then said, fuck it, it doesn't matter. Elsa, yes, my dear, can you remember? Mind like a steel trap I've got. Don't let the wrinkles fool you. Did you happen to see Maria on the day that she died? I did, I did. Must have been one of the last people to do so, I would say. He was coming back this way. Funny look about her. You mean funny. All sneaky looking. Mind you, I look sneaky too. I was off buying great big bottles of alcohol in the middle of the afternoon. Of course, it's easy enough to keep tabs on who's a little too fond of drinking these parts, standing here all day as I do. She had a thimble lag bag, didn't she? She did. Point blank refused to tell me what she had all that drink for. 
I'm no busybody. I do it for the public good. <laughs> the old lady is the busybody. Is, is a busybody then. Got it. Uh, as soon as you tell me you're not, you absolutely not. <laughs> People who go to, yes, and, and sell posters. Ex yes, it is. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> kept buying posters and sold the wall. For the whole wall. <laughs> Uh, and they, they're always like large, Some sometimes some of them are very nice posters. Some of them are they took a shot from, you know, the original Star Trek series, cropped it, and blew it up as big as they could. Uh, okay, okay. Thanks, Elsa. Bye-bye now. Clearly someone else has put two and two together. I should speak to Lena. Why would she not have said if... Hopefully she's still at the grave. Go teach. Was my friend an alcoholic at the end? I thought I might see you again. Kind of in a hurry, I... Cigarette? No, thanks. Are you alright? You seem... How could I be all right? No, quite right. None of us are today, really. Philip, do you happen to remember what you were doing on this evening last year? Do I remember? Goodness, I'm not sure how I could forget. Where were you when you heard? Where? Nobody. Gosh, I suppose you wouldn't know. I was at Maria's house. We all were. I mean, it was, and John is, I was, I mean, I was, and Jonas and Jacob and a few of Maria's other friends. What? Why? Wish I knew. It's all quite mysterious. She invited us all to, the, to come around that evening, but she wouldn't quite say why. What did she say? She said that we all would be re revealed and we weren't allowed to know beforehand. We were all there at seven like she asked. Of course she never arrived. Instead we got Officer Sten the door with the awful news. So it's a suicide. As we... Okay. Alright. Okay. What did you think you were all there for? Odd. In all the shock of what happened, I haven't really thought about it much. I guess I assumed she wanted to tell us something. It must have been terrible. Of course it was. But it was strangely a kind of blessing that we were all together, I mean. Almost as if she knew. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just, just keep pretending it's fine, religious town. I, I need to find Lena. No problem. Give her my best. Well, a bit of a, a downer on uh, emotionally for... <laughs> Our first narrative game? I could have helped. I could have stopped you. Why didn't nobody else stop you? Can I make it up to you? What should I do? You deserve for people to know the truth, no matter how painful it is to hear. I mean, the town almost certainly has figured it out and said no. Like, you're arguing with a town of denial, in, in denial of what happened, right? Lena. Hello, Sarah. I need to talk to you. Are you alright? Look, I'm not alright. Tell you something. I. Okay. Did you know? Excuse me? No, okay. Okay, Sarah, what do you. Please not right. That's not right. Not right that nobody knows how, how terrible her life had become. Getting pregnant all those years ago just trapped her here. It stifled her dreams of getting out of here. Becoming a writer and seeing the world. She spiraled deeper and deeper into this dark, horrible place. Nobody saw it. Nobody saw how bad things had become. Even though it was right there in, in the things she wrote, could have been there for her, but I wasn't. Nobody was. And when she got blind, drunk, and drove herself off the road, 
Nobody knew her well enough to see what had really happened. How is that possible? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be. This must be so hard to hear. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Thera, you need to calm down. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You should be. But calm down. I'm going to show you something. What? Just come with me. Oh shit, is she not actually dead? <laughs> no, no. She wouldn't be standing in the grave at when it's raining if she wasn't actually dead. What she knew is what is happening. Her sister knew. Going inside the church? Yes, we're going we're going inside the church. It won't kill you. Mmm. Well Can we can we investigate anything? No? There is an evening song service tonight, being held in her memory. I don't understand, why are we... Look around. Look at all these candles people have lit. Flowers, letters, pictures of her. Do you think she wasn't loved? Isn't missed by everyone in Harang every single day? Mourned by countless people here that you never bothered to get to know? But... No, Sarah. There is no but. You think what? That after you left here with all those years ago that she just ground to a halt? Hmm? That her life here can only have been small and sad by comparison to yours? No, Lena, let me... Let me explain the evidence. The evidence? Who do you think you are? What do you think is happening here? This is real life, Sarah. Real life in which my beautiful baby sister died in a car accident. But why did she buy all that vodka? Vodka? What the hell are you talking about? The receipts in her room for all that alcohol and the party her gathering you all got together so she, when she died. God's sakes. The stuff she was writing. Those dark poems. What right what what writing about death means you're going to kill yourself? How can you the party Alright, I'll tell you what the party was for. She'd been working on a book, a novel, I guess. She hadn't let me read it. She sent samples to an agent who wanted to take her on. That's what the party was for, to share her good news. All right, okay, all right. So we assumed what, what the game was leading us to assume. Got it. I uh, yes. Why did Philip not know that? Philip? He only told me. I suppose I never did tell him, no. We all had other things on our minds. That's wonderful. Many things in her life were wonderful, Sarah. The pity you hated this place too much to find that out. Oh, oh. Hey, Red Mato, how are you this evening? Um, but then why did she put out on, out on that road? Where was she going? She was going to Stockholm to get you. Lena, look, please understand that there were two reasons I didn't share this with you before. Firstly, it's, it's upsetting. And secondly, I didn't think you deserved to know any more about her life, to be honest. Please, Lena, where was she going? Going to Stockholm. To find you. She wanted to. I don't know. Surprise you with her good news. She said you were stuck in your office all weekend. So she was going to shop in the city and tell you her news in person. How are you doing, Radmato? We're playing uh, two narrative games. I played a little bit of uh, Tunic before this. But Mike TV has a what? Mike TV has a live show uh, at eight o'clock, so that is our cutoff for tonight. And then Sam will be live at nine. Uh, TSCN Sam. So it's a shorter stream for my normal streaming time, but I, <laughs> I, <laughs> yes, you're a saliva. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's ursalive.com. <laughs> it's, it's not an A. <laughs> uh, and then get back in time for the party. The game we're playing has uh, very good storytelling and nice pixel art. I told her it was a ridiculous idea, but she was really set on it, on sharing it with you. So yes, that's why she was out on the road that day. You are why. Don't 
don't know what to say. I do. You thought it was impossible that living here could make someone happy. That having a husband and a son and a family would make someone happy. I'm so sorry. Thought I was doing the right thing. What, by coming up here to play detective? You saw what you wanted to see. What you wanted to see was confirmation that you chose the right path. And she didn't. Lena, I'm so sorry. Don't be. It's too late for any of that. The service will be starting soon. I think it would be best if you didn't stay. So sorry, Lena. Goodbye, Sarah. Alright, peace out. Maybe you're sativa. <laughs> I mean, there are many ways to prepare for a live storytelling and song stream by Mike TV. Dot, dot, dot. Nah, you, 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 you want, really want to stay for the service? No, you want to go say bye again? Your friend who was happy, who you couldn't imagine being happy? Probably because you're not happy? good storytelling here this game there's a reason this game won awards this is uh how we know we're alive which is free <laughs> not post made a sound there you go dot 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 i maria i'm i have nothing to i can't excuse myself and it hurts because if you if you were here, you would forgive me for all my selfishness, my stupidity. As you were a better person, you were just the most. <laughs> but Lena's right. I hardly knew you at all. That's the thing, isn't it? You aren't here. And if you were, none of this would have... If I had been there for you, then you might still be here. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry not to have deserved our friendship better. Hmm. I love you. Sad end. I mean, it was always going to be a sad end. The, the, char the other character was already dead. But, yeah. And I can't believe I, I left it this late to make it clear. I really do. Even though I'm so bad at it. Goodbye, Maria. Congratulations, too, on the book. That it was beautiful. Bus stop is that way. She just dipped off into the forest? Oh, oh okay, we're going to the lookout point with the old car. Saw it in a flashback. No, that would be a different country, not not uh, Sweden. Okay. I mean, the pixel trees are pretty good for pixel trees. At night, too. Like, the, the ones in the foreground have some detailing on them. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, yep, there you go. From what I thought, it was just she's gone into the forest and that's it. And they put some work into this. I'm sorry they don't get paid. You can donate, I, I think. I bet you can pay whatever you want. Because that's how it usually works. If anyone's enjoying this game. Well. How we know we're alive. And that's the credits. I'm not reading, try, I'm not failing to read names a second time. There they are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
thanks to the hardworking bar staff. Oh, thank you, Codswell, for the redemption. Get me out of the way for the end of the these last uh, little bit. I'm very interested to see what else these uh, developers end up making, or this studio. Uh, Mott Vind Studio. 